Hi guys. Um, what I'm going to show you today here, surely there is a lot of uh, videos out there and tutorials on uh, uh, how to do this, um, although I'm not sure yet what the problem is going to be. But um, basically, what happened is um, uh, someone asked me to see uh, to have a look at uh, Reno Scenic. Um, the the car was not was not running, and basically said that um, the message on the dashboard uh, was keep saying to insert the card, even though the card was uh, fully inserted. So, um, when he said that, basically I said to bring me only the card, uh, not the car. Uh, and, uh, and basically what I have here, uh, just to test the card, I have a radio frequency um, a tester, if you want to call it. And I have a transponder tester. Um, so basically, how it works is when I press the card, the key, um, that... Uh, radio frequency light should flash so I'm gonna press as you can see there's no flashes so obviously the key is now working the remote side of it but because the remote side and the transponder side they are separate circuits uh, I'm gonna test the transponder so we'll put the key in there and we press read and it comes back with say no transponder uh, it doesn't matter how many tries how many times I try it just keeps coming up with no transponder okay so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna open the card and hopefully I'll be able to show you um, what the problem is so uh, the card has now been opened so this was the card um, Unfortunately, uh, this card um, would have been already, or has been already opened, and you can see it's all full of glue all the way around. Uh, whoever who, who tried or who attempted to fix this card, uh, <laughs> he hasn't done a very good job at all. Uh, the PCB is kind of damaged in there, uh, where they have been tried to solder this. It's kind of broken. Is Yes, you see over there, all this is, is, is too bad, too bad. So, uh, what I've done in this case really is, I had some spare keys, or cards. So, what I've done is, uh, in this case is, I've uh, removed the transponder, which was here. And obviously, I put it over there on this one. Okay. Uh, this card, uh, I don't know what was wrong with this card. I mean, saying that, after putting the transponder, <coughs> sorry guys, after putting the transponder here, um, the immobilizer side of it worked straight away, but uh, not the remote. So I had to um, uh, look for what was wrong with the, the remote side. And uh, I found that was uh, one of these capacitors here um, was not working, and uh, it was a few uh, dry joints or solders. Uh, so I've just resoldered everything in there, over there on the hands-free side of it, and uh, I'm just going to show you now. So this is the old card. This is the new card, sort of. So we're gonna try it now so let's gonna put the card in there so for the transponder you don't need the battery obviously and we're gonna put it to read I'm gonna press enter to read the transponder and there is so obviously you read the transponder okay. I've tried a few times and it worked every single time. So that's that's the immobilizer side of it. And now we're gonna try the remote side. Uh, I'm gonna try to hold, let's put the battery in there somehow and press one of the buttons. So it's making contact and I'm gonna press the buttons. 
it's going to be difficult. So I'm going to press that button there. Okay, can you see the RF light flashing? It's going to try another button. Oh, the battery is now making contact now. Okay, there we go. That's going to try the last button. Uh, there it is. Okay, so it's only working. Um, I do understand, guys, this time is not really a video that when I'm sure you. <clears throat> now to fix all I did really it was in in, in a way it was uh, move the transponder to a, a working uh, PCB sort of, um, but uh, but um, yeah usually what happen on these cards anyway just a heads up is the antenna here these two solders here at the end of my fingernail these two solders usually they crack. And they split from the PCB. Sorry, guys, I had an interruption there. Um, so yeah, usually what happens is these solders they crack here on the PCB. Uh, it's not being easy today. <laughs> Another interruption. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, usually what happens is these solders they split from the PCB. That's one of the problems that usually happened. And as I had in this case, uh, that even after replace or move the transponder to here, the remote side was still not working um, because of a dry solder somewhere. Uh, so what I've done is basically um, I've just uh, resolder all these pins here. <coughs> um, I have replaced uh, a capacitor that was kind of chipped on the side, so just for the Safe side, I've just replaced it, and um, and um, and I have also uh, resoldered all these pins on this uh, IC up here, and that's it, guys. There's a working card, um, and the car has no reason not to start now. Uh, thank you for watching. Any questions, as always, just put them below.